the reviews are going out right now about the first two episodes of the Halo TV show, and things seemed a little mixed, honestly. But yet, I still think it's very hopeful. You wanna know why? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this as it greatly helps out the video and channel within that old famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into that content right here. So yes, you heard me right. The reviews are out for the Halo TV show and most of it seems actually kind of positive looking. Now these reviews are based off of the first two episodes that they were able to watch. They have not seen the entire season yet, so that's one thing to keep in mind when it comes to reviews. These are more kind of first impressions kind of thing. And always with a TV show, it's hard to get good first impressions because you have to go, okay, is it worth me like getting invested into this series? Because watching a show like all the way through, it's definitely not like a short, easy task. Like it's something you kind of invest yourself into. So I just imagine a lot of people kind of sitting back cross arm going, Okay, I'll, I'm up to your tricks here. We'll see what you got. And from what it looks like, a lot of people are liking the tricks. So one example, let's look at IGN. They put their own review of the first two episodes and they gave it a seven, which I was like, you know what? For a Halo TV show and we've been struggling with song game, any kind of form of live action entertainment, a seven? I say it's a solid score. Of course, would I like that to be a 10? Well, absolutely. But I just don't really have the expectations of the show to be like a 10 out of 10 quality show that I put up there with like the first five seasons of Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad or something like that. And I just don't really see Halo being able to pull off something that well. We might as gamers feel that way just because we love these games so much and we feel like they have a potential of being of a 10 out of 10 kind of game because we've experienced games being 10 out of 10s, but could the shows be 10 out of 10s? Yeah, it's kind of tough to pull that off. On the IMDB page here, the rating's actually gone up since like the last like time I checked, it was sitting around 7.8, now it's at 8.1, which on IMDB, which they usually be pretty conservative with the ratings, like, but for an eight out of 10 on IMDB, that's pretty dang good. And of course, though, another very popular website, Rotten Tomatoes, has given this a tomato rating of 60, which is like, yeah. It'd be a lot better, but this number is going up though. Last time I saw this number earlier today, it was sitting around like 55%. Now it's getting bumped up to 60%. So either Paramount is paying out boss that ranked this a lot higher, or people are actually fairly judging it to be like a pretty good show. And after looking in these reviews, watching some of the reviews, reading some of them as well, that most of the consensus seems to be that the story that's being told within this Halo show is actually pretty dang good like it's a good story and i think it's they mentioned a lot of times that it gets docked down a little bit because sometimes the special effects just seem a little out of place or maybe don't line up properly as you would expect for a halo show and that could just be coming from the perspective of us gamers and people have built up expectations from the games of how the show should look but i think from what we saw from the trailer is pretty much going to be pretty accurate to what we're going to be seeing in the show so i'm assuming the chevy tahoe probably might have knocked it down about 0.5 all joking aside though, now you're probably thinking, well, like sixes and sevens and sometimes eights might not really be something that you'd want to put your time in. You kind of want to watch like really good shows, right? Like a nine out of 10 kind of show, 10 out of 10 kind of experience. And you know, I would, like I said earlier, I wasn't really expecting that for Halo. I was expecting it to be like a fun, good kind of show, but nothing really you'd like go to work and like tell your coworkers like, oh my God, you need to watch this show kind of experience. I never expected this to be like the next Squid Game or something like that. But seeing like relatively like lower numbers might have you a lot of concern, but like, well, this might not even be a good show at all. Like why would I watch a six out of 10 type of show? Well, some other popular media out there that has gotten some rather well reception is rated about the same. For example, right here, the book of Boba Fett that recently just finished up. I thought it was a great show. I enjoyed myself watching it a lot. I'm sure many of you who watch this channel watched it and enjoyed it as well. IMDB has a 7.5 out of 10, which I would say is a, a fair rating. I didn't think book of Boba Fett was anything like, oh my God, you need to watch this like the Mandalorian was. Though, I still found myself entertained and enjoyed watching it. Even The Mandalorian right here, which is like widely held, is like, oh my god, a must-watch type of show. IMDb, giving it an 8.8. .8. Book of Boba Fett over here on Rotten Tomatoes from the reviewers, gave it a 67% average viewer audience rating of 60%. So right about that rate where Halo's kind of sitting right now. 
And so after watching that kind of stuff, seeing how a lot of other popular shows are getting reviewed about the same honestly as the Halo show and score, makes me have more confidence that I'm actually gonna enjoy this show quite a bit. And like I said earlier, as bad as I was expecting, like I wasn't expecting anything crazily amazing, like, oh my God, it's a life-changing Breaking Bad type of show. I definitely thought it would be a good show, fun to watch, and especially during the kind of downtime that we currently have with any kind of really popular shows going on around at the moment. Interesting thing also is that they got a chance to review the first two episodes of the show, which I think is gonna be nine episodes in total, which is kind of making me think that they will release the first two episodes on Paramount Plus, and then each week after that will be a new episode as well. Though I did hear episode two does leave you on quite the cliffhanger that makes you gonna really want to watch the next episode. So I think they're kind of viewing it as episode one and two as more of a continuous little segment of the story throughout the season of the show. So I do expect to have like two episodes and then weekly episodes after that. And I will be doing review videos after each episode as well, giving my thoughts and impressions as someone who's followed the Halo franchise since its inception back in 2001. You know, I, I, I know my Halo stuff, you know, I like my Halo. And so I definitely want to see if they're able to bring this live action stuff to fruition. I mean, this show has essentially been in development for 10 years now in development. Hell, it seems like for it's taken that long. But let me know what you think about this Halo TV show. Have you seen all the trailers as a new one just dropped? Are you excited about it? Do you care that it's following its own type of timeline? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.